Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to try to do a video of building a camera box. I've got uh, a camera that Jared has, and uh, none of the boxes we have it will fit into. So I'm going to try to uh, build him another one just specifically for this camera, and I'll show you that camera here in a minute. So stay tuned to J&J &J True Outdoor Adventures. Okay, I'm out here at the back of the truck where I've got most of the metal from starting the build. I'd already got it started, but you gotta get some metal. Okay, and uh, this was, here's a piece. This is uh, 16 gauge, and this was a 12 by 18 sheet. Plus I got a, uh, I think it was a six by 12 sheet, which I've already got most of his cut out. There's a side piece. You can see I got it labeled. This is the other side piece. This is the front. This is the, the back. And this is the bottom. And basically, if I can get it to stand up, I don't have my magnetic corners out here. This will go together like so. Hopefully that's in the camera frame. And of course the sides will go on. And uh, the one thing that I'll have to do is I have to cut out the openings here and here for the sensor the LEDs, the camera lens, and stuff. And uh, then I've got steel bar, because when this goes together, and the camera's in it, of course I don't have, have the top cut out yet, but there'll be a piece that goes across the top, and it comes down the sides at uh, basically the bar, cut the length, will slide through, lock the two pieces together, and we'll have a lock on one end. And then of course they'll be coming from the sides. There will be a uh, chain that is uh, put in a little wrap around the tree and you can lock that chain into that bar. Uh, the camera box serves two purposes. One is uh, keep bears from damaging your camera and hopefully cut down on theft. But if somebody wants something bad enough they're going to steal it one way or the other. Uh, we actually had somebody steal one of Jared's cameras and then uh, Alvin's camera box uh, that somebody else had made and uh, they actually had tools with them because uh, they was able to take things apart to get the camera box but uh, let me get an old camera box and show you what I've done okay here's two old camera boxes this one here I don't know if you can tell by the design. This was made for one of the Primos cameras that Jared and I have. Uh, and like I said, here you got a bar, slides through, got a hole here for you to put a lock in, a piece of metal welded here, and that just comes out of the box. And this top piece comes off and your camera goes down inside. Yes, I have block of wood. When we take the cameras out, at the end of the season, uh, we put a block of wood in there, something to hold the block of wood, so nobody has access and we try to keep the critters out. This one here, uh, and I don't know what happened to the bar to it, uh, that's a uh, box I made for a Tasco, which I no longer have, uh, and I was going to use that box for Jared's new camera but uh, it just, it won't work. Uh, the box is not quite wide enough. 
but those are the boxes I build. And no, I'm not a perfect welder, so don't judge me on my welds and stuff. But uh, you can see how you cut the, the slots in the side for the bar to go through. Like I said, you know, this is the bar. And it'll just go in, slide through. And then once you line it up, it comes out the other side here. So uh, I've got to get my welder out. I've got to get a Dremel tool out. Uh, I still got to cut the top for Jared's box. So hopefully we uh, some video of me using the uh, metal band saw to cut. And like I said, here's the chain. I was going to show you this. Chain's welded to the box. It actually goes in the box. It's welded on both sides. Chain wraps around. And what it does, it'll come around the box and the link will hook up here on the bar to where you can lock the, the, the box to the tree and the top down to where nobody can get into your camera. So... Let me get everything else set up, and I'm hoping the rain stays away. As you can see, it's kind of cloudy. The sun is out, but that's what it was yesterday, and it came a good downpour of rain. And since I don't have a garage, I have to do the welding outside. So let me get everything else together, and we'll see if we can get a box built. Okay, I'm back in... My room here, it's a junk, it's a mess. Don't don't pay attention to anything or everything you see, but here's Jared's camera. This is a Ape Man, never heard of the brand, trail camera, model H55, six volt, takes eight AA batteries. And uh, he's tested it and it seems to be a pretty good camera but this is the camera I'm building the box for and right now I got to make a tracing of the face of it so I can get that marked on a uh, piece of metal for the front so uh, it's gonna take me a little bit and I'll get started on that okay I got his camera here I hope I can do this. I've got to sharpen my pencil first using my Camellus knife. Just hoping I can get enough of enough of a uh, shape on this thing to at least get most of the lines that I really need to have cut from. Right there, that's for the LED. And I know his camera lens and some other. I really can't seem to. Find. There's the lens. And I know there's just a couple sensors somewhere. But I know that's the lens right there, at least the bottom part. And I need to find where his sensor is at. This is kind of turned on me a little bit, but there you go, you see what I'm trying to do. And then that, we'll need to get 
placed on here so that I can do the cutouts. So I know I need to straighten this up a little bit because it, it turned on me and I don't want it crooked. I don't know if I can do that. I may have to try again because it did turn on me. But that's the gist of it. Make a tracing, uh, at least cut out the inside here. And probably what I'll do is if you look at his camera, got these, the, the lens right here. You got these two little sensors that are just off to the side. So probably what I'll do is when I go to cut out, it will be more like that okay and then here's where the center is so we will just have to see where it goes from there stay tuned okay I finally got the tracing the way I want it you can see here everything's lined up and this is his LED this is his lens. These are the two other uh, sensors or uh, something else. I can't remember exactly what it is they call these, but they're right there on each side. You can see here, here, and here. And then the motion sensor is down here. So the only thing that's going to get cut out, like I said, when I get ready to do this, I'm going to come in like so on both sides and then across be about like that I'll cut that out his lens will be opened up this whole area will be opened up LEDs uh, whatever this is and this and then I'll cut out for his motion sensor the rest of this will be all metal so that'll take some time using a Dremel tool uh, with a cutting disc to cut these I could put it on the drill press and drill the corners but I don't like doing that I like to have smooth edges uh, which I could do it if I wanted to use a drill press but I'm going to do it with a Dremel and get that all cut out. So basically what I'll do now is I'll take an X-Acto cut this out right here. Then I'll tape it or glue it to this and get it cut out. So be right back. Okay, uh, here's what the box would look like. Of course, let me stand the camera up so you can see. Here's what that box would kind of look like. I gotta cut this opening out, cut this opening out. And of course, I got my magnets down inside. I can't get this to go all the way across because it sticks out a little bit. The box is not as wide. But this is be what it looked like for this particular camera. And then in just picture another box going over top coming down to about here all the way around slots on the side for the bar to go through to lock it in place so next step now after i have breakfast is to get my dremel tool out and cut those openings out which gives me a little bit of access into the inside when i go to start doing some welding so stay tuned Okay, I'm out here getting ready to start cutting. Come out to where it was shady. I'm going to start cutting the uh, front of this thing for Jared's camera. Probably need to go find me a piece of wood to lay underneath this as I cut. So I don't cut into any other of the metal. So uh, I'll be right back. 
Okay, I've got my Dremel that I'm using with cutting disc. And I'm hoping I can get this all cut without breaking that disc. You know I've done this before. Oh, got to turn the power on. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got the power on. Yeah. So here goes. Okay, just got to finish up on the back side. Okay, see there, it's cut out. Now I had to clean it up with the file so there's no sharp edges. Now it's time to cut out this part. And there's that. There's the opening for the camera. So we're about ready to get underway and start drilling. But there's a few other things that have to be done. I hope the wind don't or the rain don't come in. <laughs> but just gotta kind of dress that up.
clean up the edges and the sharp edges and everything. I use the, the Dremel with a grinding disc to kind of take care of all that. But that's the uh, process of cutting it out for that particular camera. Okay, I've uh, got the front and the two sides welded on, getting ready to weld the back, but this little arc welder here, uh, if once it gets hot, it will uh, uh, stop, shuts down until it cools off. Once it cools off, it resets, but I'm not the perfect welder, as you can see, especially if I show you the insides. I mean, it'll get the job done. But uh, after I get the back welded on, I've got to make the top, and that's what I want to do. I want to measure it after I've got it all welded. So if it's out of dimensions I actually measured for the box, it will uh, the lid will still fit uh, before I do the lid though I will check make sure the camera's going to set in there and that uh, the sensor uh, the, or the LEDs in the, in the lens and everything is visible and down here is where the uh, the sensor is at so it's coming along uh, I may have it done today and then it'll be uh, do a little bit of grinding I got to grind an edge down right here and I got to uh, uh, sand it all down, get some primer, camouflage it, uh, get some holes drilled in it uh, for the bar, and uh, uh, get some chain. I think I have some. I just have to measure out what we need. So uh, we can get this thing uh, ready for his camera, get it in the woods. I mean, we already got the feeders in. I've got my camera out, Alvin's got his camera out, but Jared hasn't got his because he didn't have a box for this camera. Uh, the other two boxes he has, one's for a Moultrie and one's for a Primos, both of those cameras have quit working. The, the Moultrie we've had for, oh gosh, uh, 12 years, 13 years. Mine's still working, but his finally just, it just the motion sensor wasn't picking up a lot. Uh, we know there was deer coming in but uh, it just it basically quit working and the Primos, it done the same thing and it was, I don't know, I wanna say it was maybe six, eight years old. Uh, his quit working, I think mine still works. I haven't used it in such a long time because I like my Moultrie. But uh, I think uh, when mine gives up, I think we're gonna go with the Wild Game Innovation Terra cameras. And of course, that'll be a whole new set of boxes to have to build uh, for them. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I'll report back as soon as uh, I get some more done. Uh, again, thanks for watching JJ True Outdoor Adventures and stay tuned. Boy, I wish I had a wire welder instead of a stick welder.
Okay, box is done. Here's the box. I'm getting ready to cut the stuff for the top. Uh, I said the welds ain't the best in the world. But I'm not a welder. I just did it as a hobby and got a good price on that welder. But I'm gonna cut this. I've already marked out for the top. I have to cut the sides and the front. I usually don't do a back, but uh, I might do it on this one. I don't know yet. Well, there's the test fit. Jared's camera's in, so you can see. There's a lid on the box. I still gotta do some drilling and get the bar ready. But that's it. And of course, I have to put something behind the camera to keep it up close. Right now, I've got a glove stuff back there. But the box will go on. Or the top, not the box will go on and we'll have a bar that goes through to lock it and uh, that'll be pretty much bear proof so not too bad for a guy that don't know nothing about welding you know, still have to camo it but it's done and some minor things but the welding parts over okay I was out here Fix the bar for Jared's camera box right here. It's painted now. I think it's dry. This is his bar. I added a chain to his box. You see here where I got it welded on, bolted and welded, welded on. And then the lid is right here. It's all primered. Everything's primered now, and I have uh, uh, matte Spanish moss. I have a flat brown and a flat black. I've picked out several type of limbs to place on here, and I was getting ready to film it with the GoPro, but apparently. Uh, the SD card's full or something's wrong. You probably didn't get to see me weld the chain on or anything. I don't know until I get in the house and check. It shows no media. So it just said SD card full. So you think it was SD card full to be some media. So I'm going to do this and then give you some video. You're not going to actually see me do it, but you'll see the stages. Right now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the whole front with the, uh, the green. Then I'll lay the limbs over and hit it with some brown and some black. Just see how it looks. I mean, that's the one thing. It's camo, it doesn't really matter 
how fancy it looks or anything, just as long as you got it camouflaged. So uh, let me get to it and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is already painted green. Like I said, that's uh, Spanish moss green. I painted the chain, the top, the bar, and I'm getting ready to use the flat uh, brown. I'm going to pick a limb from over there. And if I had a way to get the camera set up, so you see how I do this, I just lay the limb. I can let, I guess I can show you. Okay, let's, let's take this branch right here with these leaves. I'm just going to take it and hold it on there, and I'm going to spray that brown. And the brown will cover up most of the green, but where the leaves are, that should uh, still stay green. And then uh, I've got some different patterns. I mean, here's uh, black walnut. I'll lay that up there and do that as well. Uh, I got a uh, Forsythia bush uh, limb right here. You know, it's a small box, so it really don't take a lot. I didn't know what to really go with, so I'm going to see what I like the best. So I'll show you what it looks like here in a little bit. Okay, there's the first attempt. <clears throat> now the back doesn't matter that much because it's going to be against the tree. Here's the top. Of course, this is the back part right here that's going to be against the tree. front part of it. Of course I've been just hitting the chain with all the different colors. But trying to use my leaf pattern where it's such a small box, that leaf pattern doesn't really work. I really needed real small leaves. So I think it's just going to be a hodgepodge of just splatters of paint. Maybe a few little, if I can find some smaller leaves to get on it. But you know, it's coming together. It'll be done by the weekend so we can get it out to Jared's stand so we can check and see what he's got coming in. Okay, here's the box all finished. Best I can show you. It's getting dark out here. Big owl come over. But you know, here's the bike. Here's the chain and everything. Let me take it over here to the uh, other table. Maybe you can see it better. It's still kind of dark, but you can see what it looks like. But that's for his eight-man camera. So Saturday, when we go out, he'll be able to Put that up in the tree and uh, get pictures at a stand. So I appreciate you watching J and J True Outdoor Adventures. Sorry that uh, probably some video you didn't get to see because the GoPro said the card was full. So I'm sorry about that, but hopefully do better next time. I know that's not going to be the last box I make. So thanks for watching J and J True Outdoor Adventures.